Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, now we are able to add a, a role in permission, right? All that are permission now that is successfully inserted in one of the table as a role has permission table. Great. So now I want to do here uh, when you insert it, it's returned direct to the back page. Right now I want to create another new page as a all um, roles. Okay, that means here after that I want to create another new menu. If you go to that our sidebar here, I want to create another new one. I want to simply paste it. Now that will be as a all. I name it as a all role in permission. I want to create another new route as a all roles permission. Okay, now this type of one of the route I want to create. If you now go to our web route, and after that, that will one of the get method I want to do and to simply paste it. Now our name name will be as a all roles permission. Now I want to name it as a all roles permission. That will be as a all roles permission. Now to create another new method as a all roles permission. Great. Now this type of one of the method I want to create in our role controller. Now if you go to that our role controller here after that, I want to do and to create it. That will be as a public function method name. I name it as a all roles permission. Okay. Great. So now that is one of the method I created. So here right now I want to do, I want to simply return one of the view page and also I want to pass that our role. Okay, here I want to take one of the variable as a roles and roles will be which one. And now I want to do, I want to access that our role table and I want to get all the data. Okay, here I want to get all the data and then I want to return one of the view page that will be return view in our same, in our backend into the pages in our um, role I have created as a role setup. Okay, here I want to create another new one as a all and then roles and then permission. Okay, now this type of the page I want to create and I want to pass that our role all the data. Here I want to do and to simply take it with this variable, I pass it. Great. Great. So now we have to do have to create this page as a role all roles permission. I copy it now in our view that is in our role. Okay, that is a role setup here. I want to create on the new file. Now click as a save as name it as a all role permission dot blade dot PHP. Okay, great. So that will be one of the list page. That means if you go to our all roles, okay, from here I want to copy everything and now in our all roles permission, I want to paste it. So now that will be as a all role permission, okay. I name it as all, all roles permission, permission. Okay, that will be the all role permission. I want to display the serial number role name I want to display also I want to display the permission okay all that are permission that should be also display as a permission and then that will be display or action that's all okay that's all I have already get all that our role data with this it will be get that our role ID all the data I take it with this variable and then that is the item now with this I want to do I want to display our role table field name as a name that should be display Great. And also now after that, I want to display our another permission. Permission will be which one here. We have to actually load that multiple permission, right? If you go here, you can see that is actually multiple permission for a specific our role ID. Right now, I want to do to get all that our permissions. So if you want to get it here right now with this role, we can take it. Now that is our item. Okay, now here after that, there is a TD. I want to better take one of the for each loop. Okay, that will be one of the for each, for each, and then that will be another and for each. Okay, so I want to don't to make it as a and for each. Okay, that will be the and for each into the for each area. Here I want to do, I want to don't access it. Right now I take it with the item. Now with this item, I want to do and to access it our permissions. Okay, that is a default function. I want to now call it. Now that is will be as a permissions. That is a permissions permission as I want to do and to take it as a prem. Okay, this type of another variable. Now by this variable, I want to do and to display that name. That means our permissions table field name. But I want to use one of the span in here. Okay, I want to use one of the span is pen class I want to use okay I use it as a bar G okay bar G busy danger so this type of the class I want to use and here I want to display with this prem okay with this prem I want to display our permission table field name as a name right now that should be display that name and that will be for the edit delete great now if you click as a save all and I want to check it 
I want to run that PHP artisan optimize is running successful and now if you go I want to refresh it now if you go to that our page as a all role permission hmm you can see it's not successfully visible it right it's not successfully visible our manager for the manager I have already assigned some of the permissions so that is all that our permission is display for the sales it's display our two of this permission great and also I want to do I want to change that our method before because here I have now created another new one you can see when we assign some of the role in our role permission is store before I have used it as a back page now I want to use on the route route I want to do I want to use that route that I have created as all role permission okay then that will be returned directly to our all role permission page that's all now if you click as a save all now to check it again if you go to that our role in permission now for the um, admin okay for the admin I want to select it like as a category and then history some of the things i want to select it okay i want to select it multiple one now if you click as a save changes now that should be stored and it will be written redirect to the same page okay that is a role permission page is successfully written redirect and you can see it's now successfully loaded all that are permission and that is also um, a little bit broke that is here we have to work a little bit if you go to our all roles permission, I want to remove that our data table. Let's check this out. I want to use remove the data table ID. Now click as a save all. Now if you refresh it, hmm, that is now display that things like that way. Okay, great. So right now, friend, in our next video, we have to do, we have to now edit it. That means when you click as the edit, then our specific, this role related, all that our permission that will be also as a checked, right? Here also, we have to now do this work. We have to edit it. We have to update it. And also, we have to delete it. So step by step, I will also complete everything with the live example. So thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next video.